say for a view from slightly closer to the action, to the forelock tugging, knee-bending, curtsying action that was the coronation, we hope to now cross to, uh, cross to our Kiwi abroad, Susanna Harper. You've heard Susanna Harper before about living in Paris and studying there. Well, she's moved to, I think, London, to Great Britain. And uh, for a perspective slightly closer to the action, I thought we'd talk to Susanna this morning in London. Can you hear me, Susanna? I can. Can you hear me? We've got you loud and clear. That is brilliant. Fantastic. All right. Oh, great. Well, firstly... Right, and you said it's London. I am in London now. Okay. All right. Um, And the concerts, you're not at the concert, at the Katy Perry concert or the whatever it is concert. Oh, no. Unfortunately not. No, I did not make it to the Katy Perry concert. All right. Has London, like, just been all about the coronation of late? Or does it happen in an isolated pocket? Yeah, it's like a Union Jack bomb went off around here. Um, (laughs) There's just bunting and flags everywhere, uh, people everywhere. Um, so, yeah, it's it's been pretty hectic in the in the city centre all, all week, last weekend as well, um, with people flocking in to come and see this thing. Okay. And are they POMs? Oh, sorry, English people flocking in, Scottish people, Irish <laughs> and Welsh, or are they from other places? Like, is it full of American tourists uh, I've, going? I've been hearing... I've been hearing a lot of American accents around at the moment. Um, and yesterday I, you know, went into sort of Waterloo area to go and sort of just observe what was going on and why, um, you know, why so many people are around and what everyone is doing. Um, so I went in and had a look yesterday and, yeah, just just huge amounts of people out in the rain <laughs> with their flags, um, you know, just enormous crowds coming to to watch it. And yes, a, a completely sort of mostly mostly British people, but there was a lot of American accents. Yeah. I heard, yeah, yeah. Now I observed that I understand because I do have access to the interweb that there were actually some protests and some anti monarchist people who I think used yellow yeah. livery. We saw Mm -hmm. nothing in the official BBC coverage that Television New Zealand carried here, not a sign of them, not a mention of them, but some big screens up around Buckingham Palace. Were they essentially sort of shut down? Uh, Well, it's interesting you raised that one. Um, So, yeah, generally you'd see those protesters holding um, placards with the words, not my king, on it. Yeah. Yeah. and, you know, supposedly there was a small group of them there yesterday, but the general vibe was that if you are going to be bad-mouthing the king or the coronation or seem to be causing any disruption, the police will have no tolerance. So, um, I mean, a lot of it was, I suspect, um, shut shut down um, pretty quickly. I know the leader of that... Um, not my king group got was arrested. arrested. Yep, on the morning of the yep. coronation, so, I think it was. Yeah, of the morning of the coronation. So, I mean, I don't know. I can't, I can't say whether it's because there was, simply wasn't that many protesters or because they were shut down. I do know, however, that there was going to be a zero tolerance um, sort of approach to wow. any kind of disruption or conspiring to disrupt. Yeah, and I guess when you have your mainstream or legacy media buying into the, if you like, the narrative of the glorious um, of a, the glorious coronation and a, a monarchy that's moving with the times, and that yes, it might be a stuffy institution, but it's the best we've got. I guess then, to people and the general populace, kind of self censor too. It becomes uncool to say you don't like the monarchy in the current environment. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily say that. Um, just in my day to day life, you know, at work and the pub, people are actually more or less. Sorry, that sounds like my life on yeah, yeah, work yeah, in the just, pub. Yeah, yeah, well, it's about. England. <laughs> Most people do live in the pub. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, there is other things. I promise. But generally, just from day to day life, um, it's people are more or less 
pretty just indifferent to it. Um, mm. Not, you know, there's there's a, there's a few categories of people involved in this phenomenon, and it's people who are in support of it, who 